I should say that uh, I got a chance to visit uh, the Memphis Data Center. Oh, wow. And it's uh, kind of incredible. I mean, I visited with, with Elon. Just the teams and the rate of innovation there is insane. As, uh, my sense is that you know nobody's ever done anything of this scale, and nobody has certainly ever done anything of this scale at the rate that XAI is doing. So they're like figuring out, I mean, it's all sitting in on all these meetings where they're brainstorming. It's like, it's insane. It's exciting. Because they're like, they're trying to figure out what the bottlenecks are, how to remove the bottlenecks, how to make sure that, you know, there's, there's just so many really cool things about putting together a data center because, you know, everything has to work. It's uh, the, the the people that do like the sysadmin, you know, the machine learning, all that is the exciting thing, so on. But really the people that run everything are the, uh, the, the folks that know like the low level uh, software and hardware that runs everything, the networking, all of that. And so you have to like make sure you have procedures that test everything. I think they're using Ethernet. I don't know how they're doing the networking, but they're using NVIDIA Spectrum X Ethernet. Um, I, I, there's actually like, I think, yeah, the unsung heroes are the cooling and electrical systems, which are just <laughs> exactly. like glossed over. Yeah. Um, but I think like like one story that maybe is like exemplifies how insane this stuff is, is uh, when you're training, right? Um, you're always doing, you're, you're, you're running through the model a bunch, right? In the most simplistic terms, running through the model a bunch, and then you're, uh, you're going to exchange everything and synchronize the weights, right? So you'll do, you'll do a step. This is like a step in model training, right? And every step your loss goes down, hopefully, and it doesn't always, but, um, you know, in the simplest terms, you'll be computing a lot and then you'll exchange, right? The interesting thing is GPU power is most of it. Networking power is some, but it's a lot less. But so while you're computing, your power for your GPUs is here. But then when you're exchanging weights, uh, if you're not able to overlap communications and compute perfectly, there may be a time period where your GPUs are just idle mm -hmm. and you're exchanging weights and you're like, hey, the model's updating. So you're exchanging the radiance, you do the model update, and then you, you start training again. So the power goes, mm -hmm. right? And it's super spiky. Yeah. And so funnily enough, right, like this... When you talk about the scale of data center power, right, you can blow stuff up so easily. Yeah. Um, and so Meta actually has accidentally opened so, uh, upstream something to code in PyTorch where they added an operator. And I kid you not, whoever made this, like I want to hug the guy because it says it says PyTorch, uh, it's like PyTorch.PowerPlant no blow up. <laughs> equal zero or equal one and the and, and what it does what it does is amazing right yeah. either you know when you're when you're exchanging the weights the gpu will just compute fake numbers so the yeah. power doesn't spike too much and so then the power plants don't blow up because the transient spikes like screw stuff up well that makes sense i mean you have to do <laughs> that kind of thing you, you have to make sure they're not idle yeah and elon's that's... solution was like let me throw a bunch of tesla mega packs and a few other yeah, things right like there's yeah. everyone has different solutions but like <laughs> meta's at least was publicly and openly known which is just like set this operator and what this operator does is it just makes the gpus compute nothing so that the power doesn't spike but that just tells you how much power you're working with i mean it's insane it's insane. People should just go to Google, like scale, like what does X watts do and go through all the scales from one watt to a kilowatt to a megawatt. And you look and stare at that and you're how high on the list a gigawatt is. And it's mind blowing. Can you say something about the cooling? So I, I, I know Elon's using liquid cooling, I believe, in, in all cases. Uh, that's a new thing, right? Most of them don't use liquid cooling. Is so, there something interesting to say about the cooling? Yeah, yeah. So air cooling has been the de facto standard. Uh, throw a bunch of metal, heat heat pipes, et cetera, and, and fans, right? And like that's cooled. That's been enough to cool it. Um, people have been dabbling in water cooling. Google's TPUs are water cooled, right? Um, so they've been doing that for a few years. Uh, but uh, with GPUs, no one's ever done, and, and no one's ever done the scale of water cooling that Elon just did, right? Uh, um, now, next generation NVIDIA is... Uh, for the for the like highest end GPU, it is mandatory water cooling. You have to water cool it. But Elon did it on this current generation, uh, and that required a lot of stuff, right? If you look at like some of the satellite photos and stuff of of uh, the Memphis facility, there's all these external water chillers that are sitting. Basically, it looks like a it looks like a semi truck pod thing. Mm -hmm. uh, what's it called? The container. Uh, but really, those are water chillers, and he has like 90 of those water chillers just sitting outside. 90 different containers, right? With water, you know, that chill the water, bring it back to the data center, and then you distribute it to all the chips, pull all the heat out, and then send it back, right? And this is both a uh, way to cool the chips, but also an efficiency thing, mm -hmm. all right? And going back to that, like, sort of three-vector thing, right, there is, um, there is, you know, memory bandwidth flops and interconnect. The closer the chips are together, the easier it is to do high-speed interconnects, right? 
Uh, and so this is this is also like a reason why you're going to go water cooling is because you can just put the chips right next to each other and therefore get higher uh, speed connectivity. 